Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure MySQL 9.2 on Windows 11 operating system. But the process is same on all Windows operating systems. First go to mysql.com and download the MySQL 9.2. Hit enter. Then click on downloads. Scroll down. See here we have the MySQL community downloads. Click on it. Then click on MySQL community server. Then select the version. See here we have the 9.2. But for you, if you are unable to find the version and if you find some other version, you can click on archives. There you will find the older versions. Okay. Go back. So select the version from this list and select the operating system as Microsoft Windows. See, it populated the MySQL 9.2 Win64.msi file. So click on this download button. Then click on no, no thanks, just start my download. Go to downloads. See here, its size is 119 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download is completed. Now install this MSI file. Click on it. Click on next. Select the checkbox that is I accept the I accept the terms in the license agreement and click on next. We have to set up the types. Typical custom or complete. I am going with complete. If you select custom, here we can select the custom location. Also, components. Okay, back. So, I am going to select the complete. Click on complete and click on install. See, installation has been started. Now we have to configure. So, select the checkbox that is run MySQL configurator. Even if you close it, you go to start all applications, MySQL, go to MySQL folder. See here we have the MySQL folder. Then you have to click on this MySQL 9.2 configurator. Both are same. So, give the checkbox and click on finish. Wait a moment. Now click on next. See, this is the data directory. But if you want some other directory, click on browse and select the path. I am okay this one. I am okay with this one. So click on next. See, type and networking. Server configuration type. See here we have these options. So select based on your environment. Then port number 3306 minus server. So select server computer. Then, then we have to set up the password for the root account. Provide the password and confirm the same. Then, if you want add user, click on add user. Later also, you can add the users. Okay, so I am not going to add user right now. So, click on next. See, this is the name in the services. So, I don't want to change. Keep it as it is. Run Windows service as standard system account. So, click on next. Now, server file permissions. So, select yes, grant full access to user. Okay, click on next. If you want to create sample databases, you have to select the these options. So it is up to you. Then click on next. See, ready to apply the configuration changes. So if you select execute, it will apply. So click on execute. See, configurations applied successfully. Click on next. See, installation configuration completed. So, if you want to see the log, you have to click on copy log to clipboard. Then click on finish. See, we have successfully installed MySQL 9.2. Even if you go to services.msc, type M. See, here we have the MySQL 9.2 and its status is running. Okay. We will come to this again. Now go to all programs or all applications. Then go to MySQL folder. See here. We have the MySQL command line client. Click on it. Then provide the password of the root account. Hit enter. Let me change the font. See, we have installed server version 9.2. Even you can also verify select version put semicolon see here we have installed mysql server 9.2 okay now 
verify list of databases show databases see here these are the default databases that comes with mysql installation but this circular is the sample database okay now create a database create database do the database name now verify again see we have created database let us switch to this database and create a table verify the current database select database see we are in the bank database so create a table show tables see we have created a table let us insert some data into this table insert one more now verify the data See, we have added these two rows. Okay. Now we fill list of users. Show users. This won't work. Just I want to show you. We can get the list of the users running the query against MySQL dot user. Select user from. See, these are the default users that comes with MySQL installation. Let us create a user. Verify again. See, new user is created. Now go to services. If you want to stop, right click and select stop or click on stop or click on the stop button. If you want to restart, right click and again restart or click on restart link or restart button. All three options are set. Until now, we have connected MySQL by using MySQL client. We can also connect MySQL by using DBWare or MySQL workbench. Go to MySQL dot com see here we have the mysql log page click on it then select the microsoft windows then we have to download this installer then we have to install this is the one way okay you can go through my youtube channel search for how to install mysql log which are dbware on windows operating systems i'm going to install mysql log page. so click on download then click on no thanks just start my download see download started go to downloads Size is only 42 megabytes. See, download completed. Click on this MySQL community server MSF file. Click on next. See, this will be the installation for the MySQL workbench 8.0. CE means community edition. If you want to change, click on change. Otherwise, click on next. Complete. Click on next. Install. Launch MySQL workbench now. R. Go to start. All applications. Go to MySQL folder. See here, we have the MySQL workbench. Both are same. So, keep the checkbox and click on finish. Now, click on this plus button to connect to MySQL 9.2. Now, give the name MySQL 9.2. Then, host name localhost or C because localhost because I have installed MySQL server on this PC. Then, you can give IP or this is the loopback IP or you can give the host name or machine name. Port number 3306, username, root, store in password vault, provide the password by like Click on OK, then click on Test Connection. Click on in, See, we have successfully connected. Click on OK, click on OK, click on this connection. Continue anyway. Now run the Select Version. Click on Execute. See, we have installed 9.2. And also see here, we have created Bank Database. Okay, this is the way. And if you want to connect the new user, go to Home, then click on connection then give mysql 92 james this is the username then here we have to replace root with james then provide the password of the this james user then click on ok click on text connection successfully connected click on ok 
click on this connection. Now, if the current session, select current underscore user. Select the text. See, we have connected with DMS user. Also, notes here, here it is not showing the schema because we have just created user, not granted any privileges. But if we go to root account, see, we are able to see the schema. Schema of databases are same. Okay. That's why here it is not showing. Okay. So, go to this root account connection. See here, we have the administration. In administration, we have different options like users, status, etc. Okay. Here also we can create users. Click on users. Then we have to click on add account. This is the way. Okay. So in this video we have seen how to download, install and configure MySQL 9.2 on Windows 11 operating system. Then we have seen how to install MySQL logbooks and connect to MySQL server. For more MySQL tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.